Hello, my name's Nick Brown and this is my model of HMS X1, also known as a submarine Corsair or a submarine cruiser. She is built to 148 scale, completely made out of wood, litho plate and bits of brass. She's got inbuilt lead keel already, so she doesn't have anything removable. Powered by a single uh, lead acid battery that can move around for ballast. She's powered by two car heater motors. Uh, driving um, two propellers from prop shop. Unfortunately the model is not um, submersible, submersible intentionally or otherwise uh, but is a uh, straight runner for the surface only. To make things work, um, a bit of interest to it the turrets do move as, as well as does the rangefinder just here. These are extended using a servo more and a, um, from action um, themselves and that's all controlled by a Robbie twin stick um, F-14 radio. The actual vessel was built in 1924 uh, for the Royal Navy. Um, basically they tried the idea of wanting a merchant raider that could submerse using main guns only and have torpedoes as a backup. Unfortunately they suddenly realised probably as she was being finished that perhaps it wouldn't be a good idea to advertise this to the world as the world's biggest merchant navy was Britain's. So they tried to do a black pro propaganda uh, exercise to try and make it look bad. Unfortunately it didn't work and unfortunately in the Second World War we had things like the French Secours, we had the Japanese um, I-Class and the Americans built U cruisers all having similar sized guns which these were 5.2s different to the, um, the anti-aircraft guns that were used on the later George V class. Um, basically she spent most of the time in the Mediterranean hence why she's in a light grey colour scheme. She did go through five different colour schemes, uh, this one perhaps the most uh, easiest to paint and represent. Uh, in 1931 she was withdrawn from service in the Mediterranean, brought back to the UK for a basically a refit for her engines but also very troublesome for a, for a size. They would capture German U-boat engines and they didn't um, last as long as they thought they would. Um, when she was in harbour, uh, in the dry dock, she suffered from an accident and she fell off her stocks. It was considered to be an accident but some people claim it was a conspiracy to uh, get rid of an unwanted ship. She was eventually scrapped two years later and ceremoniously towed down the, um, the river and scrapped no pictures of her exist from that date, um, adding more to the conspiracy theory that uh, she was an unwanted child. For further information you can go on to uh, Model Boats magazine, February edition I believe, uh, where she, there was a six page article on the, on the vessel. Thank <laughs> you. 